Well, we're now just hours away from NASA's most critical mission in more than a decade to land an astronaut on the moon within two years. But first, the biggest rocket on Earth has to get off the ground. Science editor Brian Hackney has the very latest. There it sits tonight. Four billion dollars worth of the most powerful rocket this country has ever built. The launch delayed four times because of weather and fuel leaks. We're talking to you at four in the morning Pacific time. Uh, at this moment, how do things look for launch? Right now we've got the thumbs up, so we're looking forward to launching. It has taken 10 years to get us to tonight in a process that is potentially fraught with peril. Yeah, I mean, we're creating thrust through a chemical reaction and it is something that can definitely go wrong. After all, this is rocket science, and it's come a long way since NASA's earliest designs famously went up in smoke. Kennedy held a press conference where a reporter had to say to him, I'm tired of being saying the United States second. However tired anybody may be, and uh, no one is more tired than, uh, uh, than I am, uh, it is a fact that it, uh, uh, it's going to take some time. As you know, of course, that was the point of the 60s space race, to beat the Soviets. What's the fuel that is driving our push to the moon this time? Well, in the past, as you point out, there were races, political races, um, but now moving forward, we're actually working in partnership. This is about a new chapter in space exploration. Right away, Houston. The last boot prints on the moon were left in December 1972. It has been 50 years since then. Does that strike you as kind of crazy? Yeah, it, you know, somewhat poetic to be in a, in a historic moment like this. And we truly are standing on the shoulders of the giants who, uh, who landed on the moon with Apollo. And that's what put us in a position to do something bold and new, landing astronauts in the south polar region of the moon where no one's ever been before. But first things first, the fifth launch attempt is set for just under five hours from now at 10.04 Pacific time.